How's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. Y'all are stalking me in my sleep? Jesus. Y'all are creepy. Y'all are freaky frogs. The dark hour is approaching. Hmm. The dark hour. Say, I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. Mm, what do you think, my niece? I mean, I'm worried. But if my parents found out... You don't need to know. Just drop them a text. Fine. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, it sucks. No. <laughs> I'm serious. I was scared yeah, shitless. Right. Nice story, though. That was the Bayside Rockers, brought to you by JJ. And that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in again next week, same time, same place. The program you just heard was sponsored by Kirito Electronics, bringing the future to you. Kirito, huh? Same last name as that one. Visiting mementos. What's happening to me? Well, that ain't good. Hmm. He's still sleeping. Have you sleep? The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Potential? I got potential. Though, so come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. <gasps> the velvet room. Welcome to the velvet room. Igor, my man. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. As am I. How's it going, old chap? This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality. My and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. Oh. When I talk about inside that dorm. From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the velvet room. Yeah, Goosey's freaking out. Until 
until we meet again. school. But shit, this was back in 2009. Hey, it's your face. Yo, I'm so sleepy today. Dude, don't sleep in class. Trust me, you'll get axed. Stay awake. I usually stay awake through shit like this. Oh God. Dude, that's so relatable. One more. more. <laughs> you can run out of money. <laughs> Bro, before I head back to the door. So nobody oh, uses the nice. kitchen. Allow me. Is 
because I haven't gotten used to living here. What was that old map of that dream I had last night? What was that contract all about? And it's full and fast asleep. <laughs> yeah, Tater, you looking? Looks pretty cool, huh? How is he? Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. This subject is rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but still. I would rather not be treated like a guinea pig. Just saying. Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? <laughs> you're not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. Dude, we know you're gay. Just, Jesus Christ, don't tell us. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. What kind of porn are you into? I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, that's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Uh, right. Be careful. Akihiko! Oh shit, something happened to him. Sanada-kun. Yeah, but not an ordinary one. Ah! Well, shit. <laughs> That noise woke me up. She checks what's happening outside. A cup of no asshole. We have to get out of here now. What's going on? I have a fucking shank now, so. All right, we should be safe now. Talk about. Do you read me? Y yes, I hear you. Be careful. There appears to be more than one enemy. The primary one lurking somewhere nearby. What? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Shit, 
kill the building. Hey, Is he? Kruger? Cthulhu? Oh, it's just a bunch of masks. It's just a mask. That likes to stop people. Kill yourself. It's here. Wait. Dude, don't do it. Hear him roar. Just as we thought. Hmm? You okay, dude? Yo, what the fuck is that? This is what you get. <laughs> so, the fuck was all that? I have no fucking clue. What on earth was that? Here we go. Time to fight. Oh, Shadow, did they break off from that other one? Hmm. 
That looks sick. Out like a fucking light. It's so good to see you again. Did I die? You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Ooh, I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. That was the power of Persona, the manifestation of your psyche. I do understand. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. Mask? The power of a persona is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bond. As you form these bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The strength of these social links will foster the growth of your persona ability. Please remember this. Serious, sir? Now, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. Oh, skipped an entire week. Man, it's getting clearer. I can feel someone's presence behind me, or beside me. Why aren't you here? Thank goodness! You finally woke up! I was so worried about you! The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. Hey, um... I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. But wow! That power of yours was really something! What did I do? That power you used, we call it Persona. And those creatures you defeated are shadows, our enemies. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I, uh... I wanted to tell you something. I can kind of relate. To you, I mean. What do you mean? My dad died in an accident when I was little, and my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? To be honest, I already heard about your past, but it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine too. This was a while ago, but there was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I'll find out more about it. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kind of panicked. That was my first time facing them too. Sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. That's not, that's not your fault. Yeah, really, I was a little scared too. Really? But still. Girl, I shit myself. Sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. Well, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So thanks for listening. 
I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. See you. Bye-bye. Evening. Yeah, better be fucking safe. Hey. I won't. I won't. Okay. <laughs> and there's my room. And I think I should end this. Right here. Yep. Fun game. Love to play more. <gasps> the reflection. <laughs>